the famous Chiswick pie. Now there's lots of variations to this dish, but today we're gonna to use snapper and scallops. But first of all, we're gonna make the base. So a little bit of oil, a little bit of chopped leek, a little bit of celery, a little bit of thyme and a bay leaf. Now you can see that that's sautéing beautifully, really getting that aroma out. I'm just going to pull out the bay leaf and the thyme. Going to put a little bit of butter in there and make our sauce. So we've got our flour and you'll see that it'll thicken up quite a bit the minute I add the flour. See that there now? It's actually forming a roux. Now that the flour's cooked out, just start to add your fish stock. Now the velouté is cooked, just going to put it into a bowl and let it cool down. We give it about 20 minutes. For our pie, we're going to use this dish. Now to get the perfect lid, we've got our beautiful puff pastry that's already rolled out. So you're going to turn the pie dish upside down and we're just going to cut around it. So to make it nice and pretty, we're going to do fish scales all the way down it. The easiest way I find is just to do it with the end of a spoon and just push straight down. Right in the middle, we're just going to put a little cross, grab our little bird up underneath and just poking through like that. Make it nice and neat around the outside. As I said before, just going to grab our puff pastry. and just wrap it around, like so. Now the egg wash, just put a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, and a tiny bit of egg yolk, just to give it a nice glaze. I'm just gonna put it on a baking tray and just bake it. It's gonna take about 15, 20 minutes, and it'll be absolutely perfect. So we've got here, so a little bit of chopped snapper and some scallops, some fresh scallops. I'm going to add it to the mix. Got some fresh herbs, we've just finely chopped. A little bit of dill and a little bit of parsley. What we've got here is some pearl onions that have just been cooked. And we're just going to add those. Mix it all around. So we're just going to put it into our pie dish. Now, because we're going to bake that in the oven, we don't want it to burn on top, we don't want it to brown. So we've just got a little bit of greaseproof paper. Just going to sit that on top. Now that's ready to be popped in the oven. So my pie is nearly finished. So let's just put the lid on for the last couple of minutes. Perfect. How good does that look? Snapper and scallop pie, and I tell you what, my family are gonna love that tonight.